beautiful south, all about being alone, really, and that is very conveniently leading us into the next element of this item about Christmas time. Got this message in. Peter Lewis sent it on Facebook saying, I'm 74 years old on the 22nd of the month, and I've spent this month, and I've spent Christmas on my own for two out of the last four Christmases. At present, I'm waiting to see if I have any offers for this Christmas. I'd like to make a big public thank you for my friends from the Baptist Church and so forth. He goes on to say, I'd also like to add a huge thank you to Gloria Stewart, Mrs. Christmas, for inviting me to a home alone at Christmas party for each of these years. I've been alone on Christmas Day. And if anyone is going to be alone at Christmas, do contact Gloria on her Facebook page or via Twitter. <laughs> what a lovely idea. So that's exactly what we've done. Gloria Stewart joins us now. Gloria, when did you start doing this? Uh, it's the eighth year uh, that Home Alone's been uh, going. What do you do? Uh, I give people a day that I hopefully that they do remember. Uh, we have a six-course lunch. Oh. Uh, we have uh, entertainment, uh, and each one receives a, a card and a gift to open on Christmas morning. Uh, the Niagara uh, lets me have all their facilities free of charge uh, because obviously it means such a lot to these people, and Niagara has come on board with this. And why did you do it, Gloria? Um, well, it was due to a, an elderly lady in a waiting room uh, at a uh, hospital, uh, and she was waiting to see one of the consultants. Um, and obviously, she uh, she was a bit et up and started talking to her about Christmas, uh, see whether she was going to any family and that. She said no. Uh, for the last four years of her, uh, Christmas, she'd spent in bed with a flask of coffee uh, and a packet of biscuits. So I came home. And I thought, that can't be right, this day and age, that so many people, uh, you know, and I, I was thinking just a handful uh, would do this. Uh, and uh, I just made a, a plan out. Uh, I'm a pensioner myself. Uh, hmm. And I thought, well, that could be me. That could have been my parents. Uh, and obviously, I took it on board. I wrote loads of letters out to local companies. Uh, telephoned a lot of people, had a lot of uh, verbal abuse off a lot of people. Did you? Yes, I did. Why? Uh, because the, the, a lot of people, not everybody, lives in their own world, in their own little bubble, and they don't see past that bubble. They don't look to see how many people are on their own. You know, uh, it's, it's me, me, me time hmm. in a lot of cases. I've got a very loving family, and I'm very, very lucky. Uh, a lot of people aren't, and as you can tell, from the first year, um, 87 people came, uh, and I thought, oh, wow, and I only expected to do it one year. Uh, the year after, I got loads of phone calls, are we having another party? Hmm. And I'm not uh, um, a charity, you know, I don't get anything from the government, anything. I have to rely on people's generosity, and that is small businesses. Um, and, and, you know, next door neighbour, friendly butcher, you know, people who feel the same as I do. How many people will you get this year? Last year there was over 400 people. Gosh. So it's expanding. Mm. Um, you know, I could go on and on. Well, it's uh, great stuff. Is it a cheerful event or is it sad with all those lonely people together in the same space? No, it's a very cheerful event. Uh, I'm sure if you pop down it would open your eyes, mm. you know. These people are trapped like kings and queens uh, on that day, you know. Uh, I always say to the volunteers, if you can't help put a smile on these people's face, you know, uh, it's not the kind of person I want. Uh, the volunteers I've had is absolutely fantastic, you know. Why do they do it, do you think, Gloria? Because they feel the same as I do. Mm. They want to put a bit back into the society, you know. There's such a lot of people now in poverty, um, the, and I put it down that a lot of people have to work so they can't mix with the family like they used to. Mm. They don't live on terraced houses like they used to and pop in. You know, when they go in that front door, they're in their own little world. But these people who are on their own are also in their little mm. world. And it can't be nice. It can't be very nice. Is it true Peter Springfellow's uh, chucked in a thousand quid? Yeah, I've, I've wrote to, I write to everybody. Oh. Even the Prime Minister. Did you? Has yeah, he sent you anything he, yet? He, he always acknowledges uh, what I do. You know, I've been put up for certain awards, which, as I've said, I don't want medals on my mantelpiece. That's not why I do it. No, you want money, which is even worse. Exactly, <laughs> exactly. And unless they can put food in mouth and bums on seats, 
I don't want to know. Gloria, thank you so much for that. It's BBC Radio Show for Gloria Stewart. If you want to be involved in that, we'll let you know, of course. It's great, isn't it? I'm told that they uh, uh, they need someone to help with a big Christmas cake. Anyway, it's the eighth year of what she does. There'll be there were over 400 people involved last time. If you want to help Gloria or have some thoughts on that one, get in touch. 